It's been a hundred years of baseball and counting at this place, and the charm hasn't faded a bit at venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. Coco Crisp will stand in now, and this is certainly a guy that can beat you in a lot of ways. Currently your National League stolen base leader. Underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there for strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man has gone on strikes to start the afternoon. So Strasburg off to a good start in the first, and with that, let's take a look at the Cubs' alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic, the official uniform of Major League Baseball. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. And here's a fastball called for strike two. One out, nobody on. Two strike pitch from Strasburg. And he takes strike three called, and it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. Uh, he hasn't wasted any pitches so far early in the game. That's six pitches, two strikeouts already. If these first two hitters are any indication, there could be a whole lot more of these to come. Josh Hamilton will take his first swings here. And as you can see, not a lot going right for him offensively here in this first month of the year. And the catch is made out there by Bernadina, and that ends the inning. So a fairly painless top of the first. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No. Here's Derek Jeter now with one away, a man who just passed Paul Molitor for ninth place on the all-time hit list. And he's got his sights set on Carl Yastrzemski in eighth with 3,419. If he can catch him, the next two aren't far away either. Honus Wagner in seventh at 34-20, and Cap Anson at six at 34-35. And with one away, there you get a good look at the friendly confines. Wrigley Field, as I'm sure you know by now, depending on the wind off Lake Michigan, this ballpark can either be a haven or a nightmare for opposing pitchers. There you see the numbers, a deep 355 down the line in left, 368 to each of the power rallies. 400 out to dead central and 353 to that right field foul pole. Marcus Semyon will stand in and you see there he's been scorching hot these past few games. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. And this had home run distance but it just does hook foul. And a pitch swung on and hit in the air for the center fielder, Crisp. And there's the second out of the inning. Well, three pitches, two outs here to start the home first. He's got to be loving that. Albert Pujols will stand in, currently eighth in the National League in hitting to enter play. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location, and he is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall, a home run. He's on the verge of joining some very elite company, to say the least. And that home run is number 499 in his terrific career. And I bet he's feeling the pressure right now a little bit, EK. You know, when you're this close to entering something as exclusive as the 500 home run club, it gets harder and harder to pretend like it's just another home run every time you hit one. He's probably headed to the Hall of Fame no matter what happens, but he's going to want to get that 500th home run out of the way as quickly as he can. Alfonso Soriano will get his first shot down. He's seen that average climb a bit here recently thanks to what he's done over the course of these last five ball games. Now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. Salta Lamacchia is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. The sights and sound. Kendry's Morales will dig in now. Off to a slow start, as you see there. Just barely over the 200 mark here in April. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. And he misses with it, 1 and 1. And they'll try to go away with this one, but it misses as well, and it's to 2 and 1 now. Still no fastballs in the at bat. It's been all off speed. 
Uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a good fastball hitter. You don't want to give in to his strength. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. And it's a fly out to start the second one away. Yeah, that's not too tough a play right there because he's already playing deep at second base anyway. So he just ranges out into the outfield and he makes the play. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in. He drove in one of the two runs in yesterday's ball game. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. Well, he's been a little slow out of the blocks here to start the season, but that looks a little better there as this is a sharp base hit. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. And Bernardino will pull this one in. Two gone now. And this is all about taking charge out there. That's the center fielder's ball if he can get there. So he calls everybody off and he makes the play easily. Cody Ross will stand in now and his batting average currently good for seventh in the National League. And this is hit down the right field line but it's going to get out of play for strike one. And this ball will be chopped foul. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early 1-0. Lays off that time and it's 1-2. Mm. I, I think he had him flinching on that one. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. One left for Cincinnati. It remains 1-0. Corey Hunter will stride in now as he'll enter play as the second leading hitter in the entire National League. Corey Hunter. Good biting slider there. Hit on the ground down to third. Over to first is Fries, and there's one out. Jason Castro will stand in now and obviously one to be careful with as you see there currently leading the senior circuit in long balls. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. And Hamilton's got this one two away. He's going right through him here in the second. That's two pitches and two outs and you know quick innings like this early on that could really pay off later in the game. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three. Luis Valbuena will dig in for the first time here, Leading looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average Luis dip these last Valbuena. four or so games. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and oh now. And this is what you got to do up there, Steve. You gotta wait him out. Yeah, and if you can lay off the off-speed stuff, that's when you're gonna get your fastball to hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Yeah, good chance to get that early run right back. This is a great swing right here. He drives this one all the way out to the wall, and he's into second with a leadoff double. Hyunjin Ryu. We'll step in, and with nobody out, we'll see if they want to let him swing the bat or try to bunt that runner on to third. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and he's back in standing. And he'll try and get his man to third here as he puts this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Yeah, down by a run. They're not taking any chances here. They want to tie this ball game up. And the sacrifice moves a man to third here with just one away. Coco Crisp will dig in for a second time. A strikeout victim opening up the ball game. Throw over to third. Back in standing. First pitch curveball runs in a bit too tight. It's ball one. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. And a pickoff throw to third. Just keeping him close. One out and a runner on third. Way a 
Now swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. Oh, and no time to get him at first. Not with his speed, and that'll go down as an infield single. And at the very least, they do keep that runner right where he is at third base. But after all the dust settles, it is an infield single. Scooter Jeanette comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. Strasburg with a check at first. And the run will come in to score from third as that'll knock things up at one apiece. And if there's one thing you can't do in this game, you can't give runs away. I mean, this pickoff throw, it's not even close to being on target. That's just a lapse of concentration at a time where you can least afford to do so. A throw behind the runner at second, and he's back easily. Coco leads from second, now the pitch. Pitch misses low, the throw down. And a throw over to third. And the runner back in standing. The next pitch. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Roger Bernadina will stand in now as you check out his OPS at number translating into on base plus slugging. And his is in the stratosphere so far. Yeah, and just for the record, the major league leader a year ago was Miguel Cabrera. He had an OPS of 1.078. So he's outpacing a guy who nearly won a second triple crown. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning, and he's on base here to kick things off. Infield expecting bunt. Here's the first pitch. Now the bunt attempt by Strasburg here as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. One gone, and Derek Jeter will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. And I think that might have been a first. The first ball they've taken the entire game. Sound the trumpets. Runner breaks for third. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Ross has to range back a ways, but he makes the catch in front of the Ivy for out number two. The tag at third, and they got him. A double play. And very quickly here, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Kendry's Morales will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. <laughs> yeah, no mistake about that one. That one's right there. And this is bounced weakly down the line, a foul ball. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here comes another 0-2. And he'll take strike three call. Make it three straight punch outs now on the mound. One away. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And a curveball to begin the at-bat. 0-1. And he takes this one high, one and one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. One, two. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. That's heading for the hole, and it'll indeed find the hole into right. He's two for two. It's a base hit. David Fries will try it again. He flew out his first time. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. 
And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Hit hard down the right field line. But that's a foul ball. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 tie. Strasburg with a check at first. But the runner's back easily. Fouled straight back. Throw over to the bag. Don't want to forget about him. Now another 0-2. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And that changeup's not really a pitch you can sit on with two strikes. Because if he gives you that fastball, you'll be an hour late on it. That's a great job of not showing that pitch until he was ready to punch him out. Cody Ross is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Curve ball bounces, and this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Reds lead one. On to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. Marcus Semyon will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Second baseman, Marcus Semien. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. Now a big swing, and this is a major league pop-up way up there toward the center of the diamond. Salta Lamacchia is out of the crouch and he stays with it for route number one. Albert Pujols will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Now a changeup and this is hit on the ground to shortstop. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Alfonso Soriano will come in now with two away, and I've got to say, it may be about time to start taking a pitch or two. Yeah, I mean, he is just running right through these guys. They've been getting themselves out left and right. He's hardly even broken a sweat out there. And that misses inside 1-0. Here we go. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. And Freeze won't get a glove on this one. It's a fair ball. I tell you, when you're on a hot streak like this guy's been on, everything you touch turns to gold. I mean, this is not a particularly great swing. It's not hit hard at all, but sure enough, it finds a hole, and at average, it'll climb a few more points. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And they are not going to get him as Soriano's in there at second with a stolen base. And with two outs, this was an excellent spot to try to take second base. The worst case scenario is if you get thrown out, you allow a good hitter to come back and lead off the next inning. Now you give that same good hitter an opportunity to drive you in with just a base hit. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Now Hunter swings and sends a high drive carrying to deep left field. And this will find the seats in left for a home run. So it's a two-run shot for Torrey Hunter. Sixth home run on the season for him. And with it, the Cubs have taken a 3-1 to one lead. swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle and they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw and after three straight two out hits that's going to hurt a visit from the pitching coach you know there's not a whole lot of guesswork as to what he's saying it's just 
But look, all we need is one more good pitch from you to get out of this. I know you've got it in you. First pitch to him here is hit on the ground to the left side as he doesn't waste any time. That's into left for a base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second base, and now there are two on with two out. So far, he's throwing a lot of fastballs here early in the count. And these guys have picked up on that, so they're just going up there looking for the hard stuff, and they've been all over it. Roger Bernadina will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. And now he has some trouble with it in center. Around third and being waved on home. And he is across as well. And that pushes the lead up to 5-1. to one. Yeah, he squared that one up pretty good. No chance to run this one down as you see it one hop the wall out there. And he leaves his way in the second with a two-run double. Steven Strasburg will get a chance to swing away, and he'll have a chance to pad onto his lead if he can deliver something here with two away. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. And Coco will tuck this one away for the third out of the inning. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Cubbies are in front, 5-1. to one. Luis Valbuena will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. Now after the four-run inning, we'll get to see if he approaches things any differently now that he's working with the lead. You, know, you figure the approach will be similar, but that's a good job anyway of getting the first out here. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. And that's a good spot for that fastball on 0 and 2. That couldn't have been an easy take. Grounded foul, still two strikes. Again, a 1 2. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked the batter to this point. So his control has been really, really spot on so far. Coco Crisp will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Well on his way to another good inning right here. And you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and oh now. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. And now on 3-0, and oh, they won't even bother to nibble at the corners as they'll just go ahead and put him aboard here. The batter, Scooter Jeanette will stand in now. A punch-out victim Jeanette. twice already. E.K., I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, <laughs> it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game you'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. Throw over to first, runners back. Coco gets his lead, here's the pitch. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ball game and the inning is over. One left for Cincinnati, they're down five to one. Yasmero Petit is gonna take over here in inning number five as it's gonna be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Ah, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's all for naught as that'll be an infield single. Well, I'll tell you what. He may still have a little bit of tread on those tires after all. He may be a step or two slower than when he was in his 20s, but 
but he can still go home to first with the best of them, and he winds up beating that one out. Marcus Semien will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. First pitch of the A.B. is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. There now is Coco as he takes it in for the first out. Albert Pujols will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. And a pitch out with Jeter staying put. He's running towards second. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. On the move again from first. Line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left. So even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. Here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it in the left field for a solid single. So runners at first and second here with one away. And standing in a power threat here in the right-handed hitting Alfonso Soriano. Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And the route is on now. It's a home run. Corey Hunter will dig in now. One for two to this point. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Ross has to range back a ways, but he makes the catch in front of the Ivy for out number two. Jason Castro will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. He's around first on his way to second now, and Coco will send this one in off the wall. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Well, we'll watch it again. He really puts a charge into this baseball. This is going to make it all the way out to the Ivy out there, which is actually still kind of brown here in the month of April. And he's able to cruise in with two bases. Alex Gonzalez will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. Another good inning for the Cubs here, and you don't need me to tell you that these folks... Josh Hamilton will stride in as he'll lead things off here in the Cincinnati sixth. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer at that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And this is going to be extra bases here leading off the sixth. And this will bounce up against the Ivy now. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Well, it's never an easy task to have to start an inning by going through the three, four, five guys. And obviously, no exception here because he drills this ball and he's going to wind up at second with a leadoff double. And this is low, but it's roped in quickly and that runner will hold at second base. And he'll hurry back to second here as he was wise to not push it that time. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Hamilton with the lead at second, now the pitch. And this is grounded foul near a former World Series hero, Billy Hatcher, in that first base coaching box. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Well, in case you're just tuning in, you've missed a lot of these so far. 11 for him in the contest, all told, as he just continues to mow down the opposing lineup here late into the ballgame.
Jared Saltalamacchia will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to... Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Well, nothing will put a smile on your manager's face quite like a two-out RBI. Well, things weren't looking good, and he looked like he was going to get stranded out there, but he comes through to drive him home. Cody Ross is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. And it looks like the Cubs will get a left-hander up and working out of the bullpen. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's 1-2 and two now. On 0-2, and two, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Here comes a 1-2. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. It's a run on two hits, one left. We'll... Roger Bernadina will get settled in here as the Cubs look to get it going in their half of the sixth. Eight, nine, and one to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball one. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. James Newcomb will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Now a ball headed for the alley in right center. And on the first pitch of the at-bat, it's going to find that alley for extra bases. Around second now, heading for third. The relay, and it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. Derek Jeter will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now a ball hit high in the air out to center field. Chris is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is... Your ice cream here. Jeremy Horst will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Now a check swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Yeah, you could see he tried to hold back on the swing, but he'd already committed himself too far, and this becomes a waste of an at-bat and an easy ground up. Carlos Corporan will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 22, Carlos. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Tough throw to first. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. 
as a manager, you love your relievers to come in and give you plenty of strikeouts. But I'll tell you what, there isn't a manager alive that'll get upset when you come in and get two outs on three pitches. Coco Crisp will step in and we'll see if they decide to pitch to him this time around. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. And we all know that this guy doesn't really have the velocity to get it past the whole. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. It's time for the Reds are down in order. Still eight to two. Gene Machi will come on now in a mop up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. There to take it is Coco, and that's out number one. Uh, he's just trying to get a fastball in there to start the inning. Ball winds up getting hit pretty well, but not well enough to do any damage. It's a one pitch out. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. You'd be hard pressed to find a more cerebral talent in the game. I mean, it's one thing to have the physical ability, but it's another thing to combine that with his mental aptitude. Made a nice adjustment there to pick up the base hit. Alfonso Soriano will stand in as he's accounted for one of the biggest at bats of the game so far. A three run shot back in the fifth that's really energized his ball club. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. And Hamilton's got this one. Two away. Corey Hunter will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Now a fastball popped high in the air over toward the right side of the infield. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Scooter Jeanette will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in there knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0 and 2. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off 1 and 2. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. A look at our line score this afternoon, and it's been a good one for the bleacher bums thus far. The homestanding Cubs enjoying a big lead here late. Josh Hamilton will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time, and that misses ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And, oh. and on 2-0, and oh, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. That one's in there, three and one. Two runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. Around first on his way to second now. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Kendry's Morales will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Spin and a throw back to second, and he'll get back in standing. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. Jared Saltalamacchia will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Fastball in there for a called strike. And here's where the Reds need that one key hit that's been avoiding them. Now a pickoff play at second and he's back standing. A good pitch there on 0 1 as this is hit fouled over to the right side. Strike two now. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. 
These guys really haven't had all that many great chances offensively. So, you know, they'd hate to see this threat go by the boards. Not a good time for a strikeout at all. Hamilton with the lead at second, now the pitch. Now a hot shot here that'll be caught behind the runner at first. Almost big trouble there, but he'll wind up stranding two as the side is retired. Jason Castro will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Jason Castro. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Crisp is right there, one down. Alex Gonzalez will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Alex Gonzalez. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul for strike two. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And a leap at short, but it's over his glove, and it could be extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. I'll tell you what. If you hit a ball that the shortstop jumps for, and then it winds up going all the way to the wall, you know you smoked that thing. This is a rocket, and it's going to zip right through the alley and allow him to get into second base easily. Roger Bernadina will step in with a couple of RBIs already and looking for more. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. On to first, and there were two down. Don Kelly will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Well, if you want to point fingers at who's to blame for this disaster, you're going to need both hands. And the pitching, the batting, the defense, the execution. But just draw a line through this one. This one's been an absolute disaster. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. Last chance coming up here for the Reds. And it's now a 9-2 ball. Andrew Newcomb will come on here. Not a safe situation, but he'll try to close it out nonetheless. Cody Ross will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yep, this is mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average, so you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance. And hey, don't write these guys off just yet. It's a home run. Luis Valbuena will stand in to keep things going. And I don't know, Steve, is the comeback on? Well, at the very least, I like that they're showing some character out there. You never want to go down without a fight. So they're going to make these final at-bats count. Up top, it's 2-0. and oh. Now, you've got a six-run lead out there, and there's no reason not to come right at guys. In there, 2-1. and one. Yeah, it's hard to look for a change up there, especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. Now a fastball, and it's hit on the ground is short. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Calls out for a pinch hitter as the backup infielder Brendan Ryan has moved into the on-deck circle now. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. But this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. The minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way. But it's one of those situations where 
you, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. Hit hard to short, fielded by Jeter. Throw on to first will be in time to get him, and the Cubs continue the roll they've been on. Seven straight victories now as this ball game is over. Break out the fire extinguishers. These guys are on fire. Seven straight wins. They've been as hot as any team in baseball, and they've really got things rolling out there now. Brightest star for the Cubs this afternoon was this fellow right here, Alfonso Soriano. What a performance he turned in. He's our top's player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a couple of hits, but more importantly, that big home run, which really led his guys to this victory. 